Hello, my peeps. This is Mama Bear coming back at you. This is the fourth time, the fourth take of trying to record Strange Horticulture, day three. If I get any other interruptions, I'm just going to go with it on this one <laughs> because I am tired of trying to record this. Anyway, we are on day three. Sunday fun day. Not really Sunday, but it's Sunday on in the game. Here we go. I forgot we were left off on this. We're going to go ahead and do this. Get it done. Let me put that there for now. There we go. North of Hawk's Head. North of Hawk's Head. East of Lowick. East of Lowick. North of Hawk's Head. West of Rustlin. West. East. It's got to be right there. And then south of Crackle Crags. Yep. That's got to be right here. So let's do this. We're going to click right here because it's south of Crinkle Crags. It's north of Hawkstead. It's west of Rustlin. And it's east of Lowick. So we're going to click right here. Yay! That was it. And it just appeared. My eyes are drawn to the silhouette of a grizzled old man standing at the edge of a field. His mind is broken, seemingly beyond repair. Vacant eyes fixate on nothing. A whisper of an expression as my gaze sweeps his face, but only a whisper. He raises his arm, points. <laughs> I follow his outstretched finger and am surprised to find a cluster of wildflowers growing there, hidden from view. I got two new plants. Party red one and a party looks like dark blue one. Mischief managed. <laughs> Let's organize these plants. Hey, we got a pumpkin here. I guess because it's getting to be Halloween. Oh, there's a pumpkin here too. I guess because it's getting close to Halloween. -y. Halloween. -y. Actually, I got a red one here. Put this red one here. All right. Next customer, Wilbur Miller. I'm looking for a plant, um, lady of what's it, something or other. Uh, I'm not no green-eyed rarer, that's for sure. My mind isn't at all what it used to be. This is a, it's the one that's supposed to help with mental discipline. Lady of Summer. Let's get our trusty old book here. Let's click on Lady of Summer. Comtessa Ostavium? I don't know Latin. Anyway, the leaves curl round delightfully, which combined with an attractive flower and a hardy nature, make this a sought-after ornamental, ornamental plant. Aids with conditions of memory deterioration associated with old age. The leaves curl round delightfully. Attractive flower. I wonder if that's it. Leaves curl round delightfully. I wonder if this will. I think this is it, but we're going to look. All right, that doesn't give us any information, but we're going to try this one. Use plant. Oh, we have identified another plant. Woo! What, what, what? And we got another page to our book. Finnet. Chewing the rough root of this plant is said to ease gastric distress and reduce anxiety. It has long, soft leaves. Okay, we have identified a plant. Let's get our labels. Let's get our plant. We're going to do purple because it's a bluish color. And blue is between red and or purples between red and blue. I almost had that backwards. This is Lady of Summer. Okie dokie. 
put this away. Put our book away. We are going to put this plant over here because it is identified. Oh, we got another pumpkin. We're going to put the purple ones down here. We're going to put these over here. Put them over here. We'll put the bluish purple ones down here. All right. Ding! David Schaefer, the mailman. They're saying the art has been killed. I know a lot of people don't trust that sisterhood, but it seemed to me the art I always looked out for the less fortunate. Okay, we're going to collect the letter from you. Who is this from? Amos Duncan. A letter from Mr. Old Amos again. The cold is too much to bear beyond the gap. I was forced to turn back. I would advise against it, but if you are determined to explore Great Gable, be sure to take the precautions. Knowing you, I am sure you'll have a plant up your sleeve that can keep you warm should the weather turn against you. Warm regards, Amos Duncan. Warm regards, Amos Duncan. What was that? The Gables? Great Gable. Great Gable. <sighs> great Gable. Where are you, Great? There's Great Gable. Let's do this. Let us click on Great Gable. After several hours of arduous hiking and scrambling, I am still some distance from the summit. I am freezing cold and ready to head home. I should do the sensible thing and turn back. Turn back down the mountain. Unless... Brimlock. I bet you Brimlock is the one that's going to keep us warm. Let's look at Brimlock. Those suffering from hyperthermia can be rescued by a drought made using leaves from the Brimlock plant. It has a warming effect that protects against extreme cold. When conditions are just right in the cold of winter, Brimlock produces small yellow flowers. The leaves are waxy and tough. Small yellow flowers. Waxy and tough. I don't see anything with small yellow flowers. I guess I need to look for a waxy... Waxy leaves. This one. Long flat leaves. Produces small yellow flowers. I don't know what it could be. These aren't small yellow flowers. The leaves are soft color, small yellow flowers, delicate flowers. We just got this one, so I don't think it's this one. Did I just check this one? No, this isn't it. I know this isn't it. Owie! I have no idea what flower it would be. I just check this one. I just checked that one. Red fruits, long flat leaves. I'm just going to try them all. Small, delicate flowers. Small leaves, delicate flowers. Bright red flowers at the ends of thin stems. Strawberry dipped in honey. Single pink flower that smells pleasant. Blue flowers, stiff leaves. 
soft purple sweet scent. Nope. I'm stumped on this one. Of course it doesn't help that I'm, I just checked that one. Um, oh, wait a minute. No, it's not that one either. Oh, I could have swore I tried this one already. I'm such a dummy. <sighs> Use plant. Voila. I'm so stupid. Sunset mousetrap. The sunset. Oh, mount cap. <laughs> sunset mount cap. <laughs> sunset mount cap is a type of fungus with domed caps, sometimes called stinking mount cap as a result of its unpleasant odor. Ugh. It is thought to deter unwanted souls and spirits from entering the home and is often placed in doorways. It is mildly to toxic to humans and should not be eaten. Brimlock. Let me open that back up again. Let me get this out. Let me get to Brimlock. I said it was yellow flowers. Brimlock. Oh, get okay. I'm so stupid. I can't believe it was like right there in front of my face. Right there in front of my face. Set that one there. Oh, I push on, no longer feeling the cold, and am pleasantly, am, and am presently rewarded. Oh, new plant acquired. Okie dokie. Oops, I went too far. I went too far. I went too far. We're going to put this one over here. Alrighty. Dang, next customer. Oh, this one's done. See, so it's got a check mark on it right there. We're done. Here we're going to archive it. I still don't know where this goes. Although this matches this. I still don't know. Like I said, any of you know what to do with this little thing? Yeah, put it in the comments. Because I am... I don't know. Norman Lee. This plan is cursed. It has brought me nothing but sorrow. Please take it. I want nothing more to do with it. Ah. Okay. Looks like a mushroom. Mushroom with bumps on it. Red bumps. That's it. Simone Green. Hello, Bar. Always a pleasure, my feline friend. I hope he hasn't been nibbling the plants again. I have a favor to ask. You owe me for the hours I spent digging out the information on those plants. Okay. I've been burning the mina oil again and could use some common trouse, and I know where to find it. Okay, tell me where to find it. According to Grayson's Herbology, it grows in abundance on red pike. I'll come by a day after tomorrow to collect it. I have business in Sidberg in the meantime. Red Pike. Here, take this. Book entry. Common Trouse. Despite being described as common, the trouse can, in fact, be quite tricky to find. However, it is known to grow in abundance in the slopes of Red Pike. Nobody knows why. Its leaves have been used for centuries as balm against ice strain. I could use that. Red Pike. Red Pike. Where are you? There's Red Pike. We're going to go to Red Pike. I enjoy a pleasant stroll up the fell. The going is easy, the weather agreeable, and the views are majestic. I do not have to look hard to find what I am after. Collect. New plant. And I bet you that's what we're looking for. Done. Oh, 
Veronica Green, or Verona Green. When you work with the occult, I find it pays to uphold a certain image. My knee hurts. If you're going to cue if you're going to be accused of performing witchcraft anyway, it doesn't hurt to put on a bit of a show every now and then. Let punters know what I'm capable of, sort of thing. Okay. Long story short, I may have threatened to turn a small boy into a toad, and the little bugger called my bluff. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. You know what little boys are like. Yes, I raised three of them. I know exactly how they're like. I can assure you he deserves to be turned into a toad. <laughs> anyway, I think a little uh, display is needed to discourage a sort of behavior in the future. <laughs> Shimmerlung. Shimmerlung. <laughs> Turn him into a toad. I've known kids like that. Shimmerlung. The dried stem of the shimmerlung burns very brightly and noisily, letting off a near blinding white purple light. The flowers grow wrapped in large, rigid leaves. I know that one. That one's this one right here. Yep. It has a pleasing scent. The leaves have stiff ribs. I bet you that's it right there. Right there. I bet you this one is the one she's looking for. La! We have identified another plant. My dogs are going stupid now. Hey, stop. A new page in our book, Candlewood, produces a red flower that provides a shielding effect. Protecting against all manner of afflictions of the mind. Long, thin stems grow along tall leaves. I... Is it that one? This one. This one. I remember reading something like that on the description. Okay, we got Shimmer Lung. Devita and Butch, no. Shimmer Lung. We're going to do purple. Oops, why are you not? There we go. Shimmer long. I said no. They're whining. Shimmer long. We have identified another plant. We're going to stick this one up here. Put this away. Put this away. Go back here. Ruth Douglas. There is a beautiful plant that I've been looking for all over, but nobody seems to have any. M something. Monk brew? I'm not sure. I do know that you shouldn't touch the leaves, though. Should not touch the leaves. Among other uses for this plant, the most remarkable is that it can allow a person to pass unnoticed, though not invisible. It is possible to become hidden from sight and memory. Shouldn't touch the leaves. The mellow glow has sharp thorns that protect it from predators. That could be it. The beautiful flowers, Mikdu, the beautiful flowers made up of smaller florets make this a sought after decorative plant, although it is difficult to care for. It may be pleasant looking, but touching the leaves against bare skin will result in painful sores. Touching the leaves, don't touch the leaves. This is it, milk dew. Meek do. The beautiful flowers made up of tiny, smaller flowers. This one? Small, delicate, small leaves, delicate flowers. I wonder if this is it. 
That's gotta be it. Let's try it. Yay! It was right. Meek do. Oh, and we are done with the day. We are going to label this. This was a quick, a quick one. Meek do. Not Dow. Do. Meek do. Okay, okay. We are done with day three. Let me put this over here. We are done with day three. That was quick. That was quick. It's still a little over 20 minutes. But anyway, this is it for day three. We are going to end it here. And we shall see you next time. Mama Bear signing off of here. Well, I guess I could do this. Not, we'll do this when we come back up. Mama Bear signing off of here. You, I'm... Um, Lost train of thought. <laughs> uh, live fierce. Be safe and and live happily. I don't know. I lost my train of thought. I'm listening to my dogs. <laughs> I don't know what the heck they're doing. But anyway, live fierce. Be happy and stay safe. Mama Bear is out of here. Until next time, see ya.